just flying out of the water and flopping back in. Here we go. Let's do it again. Overall, I love this vehicle. It has so much control, and uh, it really, it really just there they are. We can see them easily from underwater. All right. Oh boy. I think we just killed the one. What's up, guys? My name is Khan, and we're back today in Stormworks Build and Rescue, and. After the last video where uh, I ended up driving underwater for a fair amount of the time with that boat, you guys gave me a lot of good suggestions, and one of the suggestions was to build a submarine. And so I decided that, you know, building a submarine would actually be pretty cool in this game. This game does have a hardcore mode on career where uh, you actually can't have components go underwater, but the submarine, it, it, would, it wouldn't work basically on hardcore mode, but I do have it on the original mode. And, uh, of course, the entire thing is underwater. This is the yellow submarine. So I decided to make just, like, a, a really simple capsule. Um, you know, nice little little gray interior there. With, of course, a hole in the roof, because you have to be able to get in. I'm not really sure if there's a way to do, like, hatches or anything. But even then, if you had a hatch on this and this was full of air, uh, the thing would be too light to float. So there's these four little red pontoons, and they're the only things... Oh, no, that's a bad idea. And they're the only things that actually float. The rest of it just stays underwater. And then what we've got to control the height is we've got these two propellers at the front. And they'll pull the whole nose down. And it'll actually, you'll see, it'll drive underwater. It's pretty good. You just have to uh, adjust it slightly. And then, of course, on the back, we've got some motors. And then on the side, we've got some motors. And then these two fins actually control the roll. So they're opposite, but they're wired up into the arrow keys. As well as these up and down are wired into the arrow keys. So using the arrow keys will control your underwater roll and your height. And then using WASD will control your ability to drive. Alright, so it's obviously very stormy out. The nice thing about the submarine is it actually has no issues with the waves. Because it kind of just drives through them. It doesn't really go over the waves at all. But uh, the mission for today is uh, the smuggler's cargo. So we got to recover five crates jettisoned by drug smugglers. And uh, it is actually very, very stormy out, so I am going to use the submarine. Now, the other nice thing about the submarine is it doesn't have to worry about, um, you know, floating. It can flip upside down, no problem, and uh, it can do whatever it wants. But we can, uh, let's turn on one here. So one turns on all the back engines. Two turns on the up and down engines there, the up and down thrusters. Three turns on the front engines. The two, uh, doesn't it? I thought it did. All right, let's take a look at the logic here. Um, I'm honestly, I'm getting to be a big fan of the logic system in this game. Oh yeah, you guys are completely disconnected. Well, that's stupid. You should be connected to this guy. Like this, and like this. Why were you guys disconnected? Engine throttle should be hooked into the W and S. Like so. The cool thing about this game is you can highlight the controllers, right? You can, or the buttons, I mean. So you can, you can see if we're in first person here, it'll actually say what each button does. So that's the back propellers, or hotkey one. I have them just in order from one, two, three. Uh, two is the depth propellers, should be the front two. And three is the front propellers, which you don't actually, there we go, they're booting up now. You don't really need them to drive, but they, they do help. I mean, they help you, you know, drive a little bit anyways. They help keep the front nose kind of like level when you're underwater. If you have all the thrust at the back in this game, it kind of pitches your boat up a little bit. Okay, and then the lights are, uh, are number four here. It's actually just a button on the ground behind the seat. Now, we can use the hotkey four, but I also put it behind the seat just in case if, you know, you're in the cabin. It's a lot easier to, uh, to you know, hit the light button. So we've got two lights on the inside there which is quite nice, and then on the outside we've got four lights there, four lights there, and then two big spotlights aiming forward. We can just drive off in our submarine towards the uh, the mission here. So you see we can stay on the surface pretty much no problem. It drives very quickly uh, because, again, it doesn't have to worry about picking up out of the water. It, it stays very nice and level. And uh, you see even hitting these little waves, it really just doesn't care. But then, you know, when the waves get gnarly like this, we can just press the down arrow and uh, it'll just dive down. And then by controlling the down arrow, we can just stay underwater. So I just I tap down occasionally to keep the front end down. And in reverse, you tap up. It's basically the same thing. So it kind of just drives underwater like a submarine, but you can't really stay in one spot underwater, if that makes sense. You, you use the forward momentum to keep pushing you. But it's very, very quick, you can see. And, uh, and then we can roll using the arrow keys left and right just to control those back two fins. 
And so, I, I mean, it doesn't really, it doesn't even matter what the weather conditions are at this point. We're just, we're just flying underwater. But like I said, I think at hard corbo, this would obviously break because, uh, well, my guy's drowning, number one. And number two, um, yeah, the, uh, the engines wouldn't be running underwater. Then we can just uh, go back to the surface there and just, you know, ride along. So it's, I love this vehicle, honestly. I, I, I'm really happy to have a yellow submarine. It just, it just seemed like I needed a yellow submarine. And uh, I don't know, it was a really cool idea from, from you guys there in the comments. So make sure you post other ideas that you have. But uh, let's go get these crates here. So this is actually really easy with the submarine. The crates, as you can see, they float. And so what we're just going to do is just grab the crate here. And we're just going to toss it in the back. Come on, get in there. Okay, we'll just, we'll just go in first. And then we'll drag the crate in. Drag the crate in. There we go. And then we'll just jam it way up in the back there. Yeah, no, this is good. I wonder if these will actually make the submarine float more. I don't think they will. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Push that one back. Excellent. Okay, and then release that crate. Oh, let's go get another crate. You know, these drug smugglers, I mean, they left these crates here, but, you know, where's their boat? Did they just drop them out of a plane, maybe? They must have dropped them out of a plane. They're getting chased down by something. They just... Oh, there we go. There's two more crates. Well, let's just, let's just drive over there. That's... This is doing okay. Here we go. All right. Perfect. On the way back, we can just go underwater the whole way and basically completely avoid uh, being slowed down by any of the wave conditions and stuff like that. So it's really just quite an awesome, awesome vehicle. All right, last crate. Here we go. And let's go in. All right, let's just jam this in here. Hopefully that doesn't fly out the entrance. I don't think it will. All right. And then we got to go over there. Let's just line up straight to that island and go down. Here we go. Yeah, I mean the crates they, they don't seem to be affected by it too much. I think they're still they're still doing good. But I mean this vehicle is super fast. Look at how quick that uh, that drop off point is getting closer and closer. And we can just sit here below the surface. Like I said, you just kind of have to tap down a little bit, but I really, really love how this submarine works. And let me know if any of you guys watching have this game, because I know they do have full workshop support. Um, I haven't really uploaded anything I've built to the workshop yet, but if you guys do want me to upload something, just let me know in the comments down below. Uh, but, if, but if no one asks for it, I don't think I'm going to spend all the time to upload things. Drop offs up there. Alright, so we just got to unload all the crates. Alrighty, so we finally got all our crates onto the dock somehow. Um, during that process, our submarine seems to have floated off a little bit, but that's okay. I don't think it's it's going to go too far. And now we've just got to lug all these crates up to the uh, the drop-off point. I hate the fact that it's nighttime. Uh, always seems to be nighttime when I'm when I'm trying to do stuff in this game. I know in the trailer I saw wheels. And uh, they were building a car of some kind. So I wonder if at some point in time I could build like maybe a car boat. Or maybe like even a boat that has a crane that can unload a vehicle. Because having to take all these crates and walk them up seems like a lot of extra effort. When I could just, you know, have a car that drives all five of them up at once. But uh, definitely going to have to keep going in the career mode. I think in the next episode we're going to look at unlocking one of the new islands. You can actually buy other islands to get a bigger building area. And I think the next island lets you build a helicopter, so we're definitely going to check that out in the next episode and try and build a helicopter and do some air rescues. There we go, we got one star objective. Let's get these other two crates here. Alright, there we go. One altimeter, large rotor blueprint, which I'm assuming is for a helicopter, and a thousand dollars. Excellent. Alright, so before we go, I figured we'd do one more mission that's, uh, you know, not completely stormy and in terrible conditions. So. We've got a mission now to rescue two helicopter pilots that are in the water. So uh, we're just going to, you know, we're going to take the submarine back out again. I love the look of the, the front capsule on this. All right, let's head over to those helicopter pilots. Seems like they're in trouble. Very, very calm conditions, actually. Might not, uh, might not be bad at all. Waves are getting a little bit worse here. Just uh, head under. No need to uh, deal with those waves, that's for sure. So let's check the weather condition, shall we? 
Oh yeah, not too bad. It's like a breaching dolphin. I mean, you can literally just drive the submarine like it's a rocket. It's hilarious. Just flying out of the water and flopping back in. Here we go. Let's do it again. Overall, I love this vehicle. It has so much control. And uh, it really, it really just, there they are. We can see them easily from underwater. All right. Oh boy. I think we just killed the one. Oh no, he's good. Like a, a giant submarine just landed on his head and he's like, ah, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. I save you. I save you now. I'll save you by putting you in my <laughs> completely submerged submarine. There you go. You can sit there. That's good. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Get, get out of here. I can't. Where the heck is the exit? Okay, here we go. All right, let's go. Come on. Up, up. There we go. We'll put, put you guys facing each other. You guys good? Your helicopter looks like it's got wrecked. All right, let's go. And underwater. See, we can just chill right below the surface and we always get the same speed no matter what compared to when you're on the surface, the waves really affect you. Plus, I mean, this thing doesn't really flip, so it's kind of good. Other than the fact that we're drowning everybody who's driving in it, it's, uh, it's a good vehicle, I find. And uh, definitely a great suggestion. All right, let's just uh, get you guys one at a time here. Uh, yep, yeah, we'll just carry you. I mean, the guy clearly is strong enough to survive a submarine landing on his head, but I have to carry him to the hospital. So, you know, it, it is what it is. Obviously, obviously he's just faking this for insurance claims. Oh, okay, I don't even have to put you in the waiting room. Perfect. All right, let's go get your friend over there. I mean, this is clearly, they clearly crashed the helicopter on purpose and are just trying to get insurance money out of this whole deal. All right, perfect. Now we just have to head back to base. Before we go, I figured we would uh, take the submarine through some extreme wave testing because, uh, you know, everybody likes testing their vehicles in extreme waves. So, pretty sure it's some uh, gnarly conditions out today. And we'll just, uh, we'll boot up our submarine here. And we'll just go out. Yeah, look at, look at those waves. That's, that's how you know it's gnarly when the horizon isn't even straight. So let's just head right out into this stuff. And uh, let's see how big these swells are. And so, you know, most boats are going to struggle with this. They're going to go up and down through the waves. I mean, the submarine will do it too, as long as we don't actually activate the uh, the depth control stuff. You can see we're getting into bigger, bigger waves as we go further away from the island. And uh, you see, this is the common problems with boats now. They go up over one wave and they bob down into the other. And like, look at this. This thing's a monster. Holy cow. Right? And so with, with boats, this is a huge issue you run into. Where you're trying to drive and you're basically going over a wave and then under the wave. But, uh, you know, with the submarine, it's just sweet. We can just kind of go right underneath them and look at that. That's so cool. Oh, that's a sandbar. That's not... Whoa, that was close. Like I said, guys, the submarine's like driving a rocket, but uh, it's definitely a lot of fun. So make sure you guys leave other suggestions down in the comments down below. And, uh... <laughs> And uh, like I said, this one came from you guys' suggestions, and I, I really, really enjoy it. And let me know, of course, if you do have this game and you want me to upload things to the workshop. But uh, make sure you hit those buttons down below. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see y'all next time. Wee! This is ridiculous.